The Digital Scene Show is sponsored by NewMediaWebinars.com. Free how-to webinars for digital media creators taught by industry professionals. Check us out at NewMediaWebinars.com. Ross, welcome to the Digital Scene Show here in ADB 2010. Thank you, Marcelo. I really appreciate uh, seeing you and having me. And you're with uh, Imagineer Systems? Imagineer Systems, that's right. Tell us a little bit about Imagineer Systems. Sure. Imagineer is a, a software company based in England. And we make motion tracking and rotoscoping tools uh, based on a really unique uh, algorithm called planar tracking, which allows the artists to basically motion track and uh, rotoscope almost any uh, difficult footage shot. Now, um, behind you, you got Mocha. Is that your, your main application? Our flagship product is, yeah, Mocha, and we're showing here at NAB Mocha version 2. We also have a lighter version called Mocha for After Effects, which ships for free uh, in the Adobe right. CS4 and now the Adobe CS5 suite. We also have Mocha for Final Cut for Final Cut users. Oh, okay. And I was going to ask you about that because now is that a, uh, you have to buy it separately? That's a separate product, yeah. It's priced really affordably. It's like $220. Okay, and so, now is it the full, same power as uh, Mocha Standalone? Or pretty is much it? the same power as Mocha Standalone, but really limited to our Final Cut uh, workflow to get, you know, if you want to stabilize some footage, you might track it in Mocha for Final Cut and export the XML data into Final Cut. Uh, if, or if you wanted to rotoscope it, you know, Final Cut doesn't have very advanced masking tools, for right. example. So you could use Mocha's powerful rotoscoping tools to mask out objects and send that data into um, the Final Cut timeline. So what is that workflow like? Is it do you drop it as a filter into your clip That's and a good then question, it's standalone? Yeah. It, it's actually what we do is we export as an XML. And then there's a, a we have something called Mocha Shape Effects Plug. It's a it's a plugin for the Final Cut uh, the Final Cut market. Where basically they just um, op import XML in Final Cut. It will show up in their folder, and they just drop it on the timeline, and it's a it's a roto shape mask. I see. So basically, you still have to create it outside of Final Cut. Yes. And you're importing the data. Yes. So, so that that's that, that plugin. Yes. So we're not we're not the the Mocha Final Cut or Mocha itself is not a full blown plugin. It's a standalone utility. Right. Um, but the power of Mocha, the interface is very evolved for solving really really complex things. Like say, I wanted to rotoscope me off this background, and I'm moving all over. I could actually motion track my movement. And then I could rotoscope out without having to actually do a keyframe for every single point. So we save uh, save artists and editors lots and lots of time. So basically, you work in, in the Mocha standalone. You export the XML and then you import it through that, your plugin yeah, in, exactly. in Final Cut, and it, it understands it. Yeah, exactly. I see. And you said that was how much? Yeah. That's two. It's basically about three hundred dollars. It's two hundred twenty for the Mocha for Final Cut, which is just tracking data. If you wanted to add the roto the roto plugin to import the mats, it's another one hundred. 10. I see. And how much is the actual Mocha standalone? The Mocha standalone is uh, $1,100. We support everything from Final Cut to After Effects to on the high end, like a Flame or a Smoke or Quantel and Shake and you know, about 10 different applications. But uh, what we're doing at NAB is uh, a show special, for, which is uh, if you anyone who has our products, including the free products that come with this, the Adobe suite, that they could upgrade to the full suite for $399. It's about six hundred dollars off the uh, list price. It's a really great deal. Now, what's the difference between the standalone and what comes with After Effects for free? That's a great question. The After Effects version, you're really limited to the After Effects workflow, Roto and uh, Roto and tracking for After Effects users. Uh, the full blown version, both versions are now sixty four bit, um, which we're shipping here at the show. But the uh, the full version of Mocha version two has a really updated interface um, to improve the workflow. It kind of looks more like a, an Adobe or an Apple product. So that's one of the issues we've always had. People have always loved our products, but they maybe were a little bit too advanced for for the average uh, Final Cut editor. Right. So we're trying to basically unify the interface and make it easier to learn. Sure. Um, we also have a stabilization module where you can stabilize footage within um, within Mocha and then export that track data. Uh, we also have OpenGL uh, accelerated rendering to render masks, as well as obviously all the system support. So if you're a Final Cut user, but you also want that After Effects support, and you also want to, you know, render your mats for you know another company, then the full version is the way to go. The way to go, and then yeah. get the plugins for your separate apps. Yeah, exactly. Fantastic, Ross. If people want to find out more about uh, Mocha, yeah, it's ImagineerSystems.com, and Imagineer is spelled with Imagine with an extra ER. Imagineer Systems. Fantastic, Ross. Thank you. Good to meet you. Thanks a lot, Marcel. I appreciate it.